on Blu-ray from Unearthed Films is a 15th anniversary edition of Dead Girl from 2008. This is a film that got some buzz when it came out and I'd always heard about it, but I just never got around to seeing it until this disc showed up at my door. What is this film about? This is about 101 minutes. So I won't tell you the whole story, but I'll tell you enough to make you help, help you make a decision on this. I went into this totally blind, really not knowing what it was about. And it goes a little something like this. Two friends, two guys on the edge of society in high school, they're the outcasts, they're kind of dirtbags. They bust into an old mental asylum to just, you know, vandalize and have fun and, and mess stuff up. And they go into the basement. I'm not going to tell you the whole story. They go into the basement and they find in a secret room what looks to be a titular dead girl. Tied up and laid out naked on a slab. Only she's not dead. But she's not alive. She's a zombie. And they decide, or one of the guys at least, decides to take advantage of her. And the other friend sort of has more, what are you doing, man? You can't do this, man. He's got a little bit more of a conscience and tries to fight it. And as the film goes on, basically it becomes the less scrupulous friend inviting other guys, perhaps for a fee, to come down into this secret dingy medical lab basement and have their way with this chained up zombie woman. So it's really grim subject matter, really pretty repulsive subject matter to me. And I'm no prude and I watch all kinds of movies. I love trash, I love sleaze. But this one I thought was like every, basically every male character in this film is a total dirtbag. And it just thinks it's okay to essentially gang rape a woman who's chained up in a basement. Yes, she's a zombie. Yes, she's dead. That puts a little bit of different distance between what you see happening and what the moral implications are of that happening. But it's still really disturbing. And that's what the filmmakers wanted. I watched some of the extras on this. There's a lot of extras on this. And they did get into the fact that, you know, the, the director or the writer used to work for Troma and he liked Troma movies, but he wanted to make his own kind of film that was a little bit darker and a little bit edgier and that certainly is dead girl is certainly dark and edgy but it was really it's just really grim maybe it's more of your bag it really wasn't mine I, I really I couldn't get into this because I was so like repulsed by what was going on and what the characters were doing and that the the moral character I guess wasn't moral enough to me to make up for how just horrible everybody else in the film was and that's like a strain of modern horror that always bugs me anyway where basically every character is just a dirtbag and there's nobody to connect to or like to and I'm just like why am I spending time with these people so effects were good it was well shot I'm not going to say anything negative about the production quality of it it was just a very very grim very grim ride let's say that so what do you get with this disc? Oh, directed by Marcel Sarmiento and uh, Gaddy Harrell, by the way. Uh, the film is presented in 5.1 English surround and 2.0 English stereo. It has English and English SDH subtitles, which I greatly appreciate there being both. SDH for the people who need them, uh, for the de deaf, hard of hearing, hearing impaired people, where it describes music and off-screen sound effects and things like that. If you don't need SDH, SDH is a really distracting way to watch something with subtitles. I mean, the film's in English, so I, I personally don't need the subtitles at all, but when I'm watching a foreign film on disc and the only option I get is the SDH subtitles, it, it really kind of takes me out of the experience, unfortunately. Um, one thing I did notice about this is that the audio mix, and I, I, I could be wrong, I might have been, I might have had it set for 5.1, but there's always a thing that friends and I refer to as the dreaded 5.1 mix, which is if you don't have surround sound, all the dialogue is mixed in the basement and everything else is mixed up high. And anytime somebody talks, you can barely hear them. So you have to turn it up. And then when anything happens, it like knocks you over the back of the couch with how loud it is. I was getting that from this. It is possible that I was listening to it on the 5.1 and not the 2.0. Usually if you go to 2.0 stereo, you're fine. If you set to mono, you're always fine if that's ever an option. But it's not usually an option for modern, modern films. Um, the extras. Get comfortable. You have a commentary with cast and crew. You have a commentary with actor Jenny Spain, who plays the uh, titular dead girl. You have an interview with co-director Gaddy Harrell. That's 14 minutes. You have an interview with uh, Trent Haga, 24 minutes. You have an interview with actor Noah Segan, 18 minutes. You have an interview with actor uh, Shiloh Fernandez, 9 minutes. You have an interview with special makeup effects artist and designer uh, Jim oh Ohala. That's 30 minutes. You have uh, Exquisite Corpse, The Making of Dead Girl. That's 7 minutes, and it's vintage 
it feels weird to say vintage 2008, but we are rapidly approaching 20 years ago for that. So it is vintage 15 years, actually, as this uh, is going to tell us. You have Jenny Spain's audition. Jenny uh, is the titular, again, dead girl. That's two minutes, and it's basically the home video that she shot at home pretending to do zombie stuff. It's how most actors will do audition tapes. They do it at home. They do it in a neutral location. They just send them into the production of the casting director. You have deleted scenes at seven minutes. Interestingly, each has a title card that comes up before the scene that tells you uh, where that would have fallen in the film and why they took it out, which is really cool. And you have makeup effects of Dead Girl with Jim Ohala or Ojala. That is 11 minutes. That is stills of the effects in progress, which they would have shot as they were going along. The effects team or the production would have shot those sort of makeup tests and progressive shots of how the effects were coming along. Uh, you get that with text descriptions in between. That's really cool for people who are into the behind the scenes of how all this stuff is done. You have a behind the scenes dead girl gallery that's four minutes autoplay with music. You have a production gallery that's three minutes autoplay. You have a theatrical trailer that's two and a half minutes. You have the dead girl shooting script, which is 10 minutes if you let it just play through. But if you have a big enough screen, it's just the full page on your screen. So you can pause it and basically go ahead at your own pace. I prefer those kind of things personally to be a, st a still step thing. But still, it's it's cool that that's on there. You get the Dead Girl 2 first draft. You get, uh, that's 10 minutes. And again, on a big screen, you should be able to read it just fine. And the packaging. So we get a uh, very interesting design in this. So you get the slip case on the front and on the back. And the slip case slips to reveal alternate artwork. And you crack it open and you get a uh, the disc. And inside is reversible cover, which is... Uh, Artwork that matches the slipcase, basically. So not something I enjoyed personally, which I think was probably the intention of the director. Not a film that I would necessarily recommend unless you're into really edgy stuff and you're okay with the subject matter, which again, I've found pretty hard to take. This is from Unearthed Films on Blu-ray, the 15th anniversary Blu-ray edition of Dead Girl.